So you go to hustling. And and then eventually the hustling leads you to prison. Like how long getting into the hustling game did it take before you actually land in jail? And you can't full fledged hustling. 2007 to 2014 when my indictment hit. Gotcha. So seven years. Gotcha. You know what I mean? That and the reason I say full time, that means like you don't live off nothing else but this. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Because I was still doing rap stuff when we first left, because we were still able to go do shows and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We we did a uh, little little joint ventures with like uh, Boss, uh, a little subsidiary of the University and stuff like that. So we were still trying to tug with that music. But once uh, once that shit stopped, man, 2006, I met I met one of my partners. He wanted a feature from me. I went and did a feature with him, and um, just so happened he happened to be the plug and mm. shit. Fuck rapping. <laughs> Yeah, to get to that paper. Well, rapping, bro. Bro, look, I'm gonna tell you, bro. I was a I, I, look. I fuck around and um, I, everybody know me, bro. I, yeah. I'm a loyal fucking friend. Like I used to have a lot of partners that hustle. You know what I'm saying? They used to always give me try to give me the hustle, but I ain't never want to hustle. I'm just like, bro, nah. I'm fuck with this music shit like this. You know, I I let people set up stains and plays and stuff, but I like this. You know, but I was that person who like the, the big D boy partner be like, hey, uh. Blue, I'm finna come drop some off over there. Hold it for me. I'm finna go out of town. You know what I'm saying? It might be a bag with 100 grand in it. You know what I'm saying? 150 grand in it. I ain't got nothing but probably five, ten dollars with yeah. me and my wife and them. But I ain't finna touch that bag. Gotcha. And they know it. You know what I'm saying? So when the opportunity came, when I uh, cause I got tired, bro. My my nigga C Fat was like, man, you better quit that fucking job, bro. You know what I'm saying? He's like, you know, it was just bad, bro. But anyways, I went to my partner, bro. I say, man. I need, I, let, let, let me, let me, let me, I quit my job, man. I got my kids on the way. I, I mean, I had kids already, but I got another one. Where I'm like, bro, let me get on with the hustle. You know what I'm saying? This was, this is when I said nothing else but this. I said, let me get on the hustle. He was like, uh, he said, man, I've been trying to get you because he had been trying to turn me on. Like, I've been trying to get you what you want, bitch, what you want. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking like one or two pounds so I can, you know, break down a second. I'm like, what you want? You want 50? You want 100? You want this? I'm like, man, hell no. Nah. What the fuck I'm finna do with that? I just, I just want to sack up some sacks, you know what I'm saying? And shit, he's like, man, fuck that. I'm, I'm, he's like, I'm gonna come back. I'm, I'm gonna get you ready, bro. He, he come and drop me off something. Bottom line though, I didn't know my reach. Once I, once he dropped it out to me, I called my, I called all my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, bro, I got this. They're like, nigga, you got what? Nigga, it was almost like how Ace was yeah. on what's name paid him full. Yeah. They're like, nigga, you whatever. Let me see. And when I went and showed him. I like, because I know my first block was like 30 some blocks. They were like, damn. One of my partners was like, damn, I need 60. You know what I'm saying? That's 30, bro. I need 60. I said, like, shit, I can get. He said, like, you can get the whole 60? Yeah. You bullshit. Ah, I can't. Bro, between, it, it was two days. You know what I'm saying? They got moved like 440 some pounds. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Like that. And shit, I knew it was over from then. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? I was in a one bedroom apartment. I didn't even have, um, bro, I didn't even have no money to, uh, I didn't even have no money to, to buy Ziploc bags to sack up the L's, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. it, I was like that bad, you know what I'm saying? I scraped quarters and shit together to go buy a scale, you know what I'm talking about? So I could weigh it. But shit, it just so happened, nigga, I ain't need no uh, Ziploc bags. I needed trash bags because how this <laughs> shit ran. And it's history ever since, though. That was history ever since. Got you. And so then you end up going to uh, prison. And how long was you in prison for? I was in prison for right at four years and some change, you know what I'm saying? Got you. And so at this time, this you you didn't have any priors. No, nah, I never today. been arrested or none of that shit like that. So I mean, you, I, you know, I got weed charged, but yeah. no, no priors, no nah, no priors. Got you. 